The Super VZ-10 triumphantly challenges American supremacy over the North Atlantic. BOAC have inaugurated regular passenger flights between London and New York. And what a thing of beauty is this newest jetliner winging her way at 600 miles an hour. Sir Giles Guthrie, chairman of BOAC, was in the captain's seat more than 30,000 feet over the ocean on the last of three proving flights to New York. From him down to junior apprentices and indeed everybody in the airline, not to mention the present passengers, it was a most exciting trip. To be in any capacity in at the berth of the Super VZ-10 was an experience never to be forgotten. Not only the food impresses, everybody remarks the amazing quietness resulting from the rear positioning of the engines. The new airliner could go faster still, but is for the present observing the time schedules of other Atlantic services. And now the touchdown at Kennedy Airport, right on time after perhaps the most comfortable ocean flight ever made. From now on, there will be daily Atlantic crossings, setting a new standard in jet travel. For many of the passengers, the covered telescopic exit tube was new. No more leaving a luxury plane one second and fighting a blizzard the next. Sir Giles Guthrie and other officials were warmly welcomed by their American counterparts. However experienced the traveller, custom never stales the thrill of arriving in New York. There was only a brief stay here. The Super VC-10 was gathering more passengers, this time influential Americans and travel agents, about to make a demonstration flight from Kennedy Airport to sample the speed and comfort of the new travel. Sir Giles Guthrie escorted them. The object of all this exercise was to demonstrate to important persons the great advance made by the latest British example of the second generation of jetliners. The captain and first officer are already Super VC-10 enthusiasts, declaring that it's a beautiful aircraft to fly. The chairman of the corporation has to concern himself with everything from developing the Western Region Flights program to such a detail as the new seats. They are all important to that all important person, the paying passenger. Designers occupied months before they were satisfied that they had achieved a seat guaranteeing comfort from takeoff to landing. Sir Giles proved himself to be a perfect salesman on behalf of Britain. Over Boston now, cultural leader of American cities, historically famous in the struggle for independence. Main concern on the flight deck to put the jetliner down smoothly. Needless to say, a perfectly accomplished land. A similar demonstration flight was made at Washington. Americans always welcome something that's good and new. Hence the interest excited everywhere in the Super VC-10. They love success too. So the news that BOAC have made their biggest ever profit is a bull point in selling it to the great and growing US traveling public. We all have a share in the Super VC-10. Taxpayers, BOAC, vicars and passengers. Good luck to her. She's quite an achievement.